Hello everyone, welcome to a quick video of Sage Pipeline in Crane CRM. In this video, we will discuss everything you need to know about Sales Pipeline to organize, track and manage your leads in Crane CRM. So, before proceeding for this for this video, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest update from our end. Let's get started from the admin backend panel of the Crane CRM. We will log in using the email password and tap on a login button. Thereafter, we will reach on a dashboard of the Crane CRM. So the first question is why we need to create a sales pipeline. So your sales pipeline is a one stop place to view your active opportunities or leads for your business. Most businesses have multiple sales team, some catering to inbound leads, other outbound and so on. So it's a very difficult to bundle all the leads in a same pipeline. This is why you should create a new pipeline for your business. So for creating a new pipeline, we have to go on a setting tab and here you can see the option of pipelines. So click here you will reach on a pipeline section here you can see the option of create pipeline just tap here and we will start uh, with giving your pipeline a name so let's suppose i have given john's new client next you have to set the time after which uh, these uh, sales pipeline marked as a rotten it's all depend upon your sales cycle. Let's suppose I have given 30 days. Next, click on a mark as default if you want to make this sales pipeline as a default pipeline. And thereafter, you have to add the stages for that particular pipeline. Let's suppose I have added follow up leads and you can reset the probability also. Let's suppose I have uh, enter the 80 percent probability and uh, for adding the new stages you need to click here and you can add more stages and reset the probability now you can save as a pipeline so your new pipeline is created john's new client and i have uh, selected here is uh, as a default so you can see here if you want to add this pipeline so click here and you can add the sales pipeline also and if you want to add more stages you can st add stages and if you want to delete any stages so you can delete as well and save as pipeline so from this added button you can add it all the sales pipeline and if you want to delete any sales pipeline so you need to click here and click on a ok so your pipeline will be deleted now we will go to the lead section in a lead section you can see all the uh, pipeline here default new clients of december maria's new client john's new client so these are the pipelines which i have created and by default only one pipeline which was created so if you are deleting a pipeline that has a lead in it so that lead are moved to the first stage of default pipeline it suppose we have a pipeline john's new client and it has a lead test demo so now i am going to delete this pipeline from the setting option now click on a delete button and delete this sales pipeline so the lead associated with the john's new client will move to the default pipeline section as you can see here john's new client sales pipeline is deleted so the lead associated with that pipeline uh, move to the first stage of a default pipeline as you can see here i have uh, created this lead inside the john's new client so you can see this lead So yeah, and the next thing which you have to remember is if you are deleting any stage, 
if you are deleting any stage from the pipeline then lead associated with that stage will move to the new stage of that particular pipeline let's suppose i'm going to delete the negotiation lead stage from the new clients of december so the lead associated with that stage demo lead will move to the new stage in this pipeline so i'm going to delete the stage negotiation lead from the new client of december and save as pipeline now go to the new client of december so the lead associated with that negotiation uh, stage automatically move to the new stage of uh, this pipeline as you can see here so these are two basic things which you have to remember now here we will discuss how to filter the pipelines if you have so many pipelines in this section so using the filter option you can find out your desired pipeline by putting the id name route and days or you can select is default yes or no suppose i have uh, put it here route and days suppose 30 and press enter so you will find out your desired pipeline i hope you will understand how to filter the pipelines from this section now you know everything about the sales pipeline from creating one to editing and deletion of that sales pipeline so if you have any question query and suggestion so you can get back to us at support at crm.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com thanks for watching this video have a great day ahead